Hello, my name is Danielle Stewart, and I'm the ESL coordinator at Russellville School District in Arkansas. I am doing a research proposal for Dr. Strickland's class on how teacher perception of immigrants affects ESL student performance, and this is for my PhD studies at Texas Tech University. A little background on why I chose this topic. Over the past few years, as you can see, our demographic for ESL students has more than doubled. Uh, we're a school of about 5,000 students, K through 12, and projected for this year, we should have had about 750 ESL students. However, we're about 100 over that projection at 848 ESL students. So obviously our demographic is changing. The education of those students is forefront in my mind. And with the changing political climate, with the repeal of DACA, um, definitely different sides have different uh, opinions about immigration and education of those immigrant students and Latino students. Um, I decided that it was uh, forefront for me to be able to research to see how those um, images and perceptions of immigrants in the media or in our community affect the overall success and educational programs of ESL students in our district and do teachers look past that or do does that perception affect them some of the references that I used within the study I'm definitely using the theoretical lens of Latino um, critical theory which is short lat crit and also um, the race theory. Some of the books that I used in the study, Latinos in Education, and then I also did a book study on Grit and Hope, and it is by Barbara Davenport, and it follows five Latino students through their educational career and um, how they made it to higher education, what programs helped them, and the struggles that they faced. I also used some important information that I learned from different journals specifically um, Dr. Eva Medio uh, Buche, and um, she really taught me in my other class how to use voice and student narrative as a way for a qualitative data analysis. So my guiding questions will be for this entire study, how does teacher perception of immigrants affect English as a second language student performance? Um, I want to do two component parts. I want to research how that affects students and what struggles they face through their educational journey. And I also want to ask teachers what their background and perception is upon immigrant education. Do they believe it's their job? Do they believe in educating every child every day? Or are there some perceptions that are naturally biased or influenced through the um, outside media. For students, I'm going to ask them, how have you experienced encouragement and discouragement through your educational journey? I'm going to choose students who are probably seniors or older students in their educational career so that way I can see when they started the ESL program, what kind of scores they had when they started, what classes they took, what kind of curriculum they used and then how that trajectory went through their educational career to see if there were encouraging teachers that really made a difference in their lives or if they did experience um, some stereotypes or some um, barriers to their education based on either their immigrant status or um, even their language barrier. When they first arrived, did they speak English and how were they treated and what kind of programs were they allowed to take? I'm very interested to see just how that all correlates and hopefully I'll find some common patterns to investigate further. How I'll be doing my data collection will be through several different ways. Um, I'll be using Google Forms to um, ask the teachers in an anonymous way their background on their uh, teaching career. What led them to teach, what their motivation is, what their feel is of the current political climate, how they feel that that impacts their um, student engagement, what kind of differentiation do they use with their students or do they all use the same strategies for all students? Um, do they teach the same curriculum to those students or do they teach um, a different simpler lesson to the ESL students? 
and I'm interested in how they encourage them to go about their college path, or do they encourage them to go to trade schools? Um, I'll also be doing some classroom observations, and I will also be using student narrative um, to collect their voices and see how their journeys are. Um, I appreciate you listening, and I look forward to you reading my paper. Thank you.